Nate. Hey, Nate. There it is. Who the hell lives here anyway? I don't know, no idea. But this is definitely the address. Been scoping the place out for the past few days. No one's home. <sighs> and here we are. Whoa. This place is humongous. <laughs> Where do we even start? We start by finding a way in, and then we can take the grand tour. <sighs> Brothers Drake. You think this place has an alarm? Let's try and find a way in that doesn't involve breaking a window. And I'm still shaky from the last chapter there. I'm pretty sure the front door will be locked. Everything that just transpired. The whole Alcazar thing was a lie. Okay. Give me your hand. All right. There you go. Follow me. Come on, Nathan. Whoa. <laughs> Spooky. Oh, here. I brought a spare. So, are we looking for any particular room? And just keep an eye out for any books, journals, any kind of research papers, you know? Miss Evelyn, my name is Kinichiro Namba. I recently attended your lecture at the Adventurer's Lodge last week regarding your recent find, the set of Tokugawa era armor you obtained off the coast of Okinawa. Your presentation was utterly fascinating, though I was surprised by the condescending tone of the questions from the audience. I believe recognition and respect for one's work should be contingent on, uh, should not be contingent on race or gender. I imagine we have both struggled in that regard. I write today because I come in, uh, I have come into possession of what I believe to be French jousting armor, though I am not completely certain of the date nor the country of origin. If you have any time to spare, I would appreciate the insight of someone with your expertise. Uh, apologies if this is too forward, but I will only be in the city for another month. In September, I traveled to Iceland to study the Viking, uh, a Viking burial site, and I would deeply regret missing the opportunity to speak with you further. I'm staying at the Lennox. If you wish to contact me, I sincerely hope you do. Kindest regards. Kenichiro Namba.
Nope. It's not gonna be in this attic. Boxes are filled with old traveling and camping equipment. Huh. Yeah, that'll do. Down we go. So, how do we find them? What, Mom's notebooks? I mean, don't you remember? She always used that off-white leather binding. Yeah, I know, but it's such a large place. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. <sighs> Here we go. White leather. Sam, I think I found one. For real? No. It's not one of Mom's. You got the right idea, though. Let's keep looking. Dear Eddie, greetings from Peru. I hope my letter arrives safely. There is no post office here, only a, uh, only a small patch of grass serving as a runway and slow boats up to the uh, Manu River. I wish you could have seen the howler monkeys yesterday, bright orange creatures with expressive faces and ample curiosity. I would not describe the noise they make as a howl, however, it is like a hurricane wind mixed with a lion's roar. Uh, were, were it not illegal and dangerous, I would bring home one for you as a pet. Your mom is busy busying herself with preparations for tomorrow's excursion into the jungle where we hope to conclude our research. She sends her love. I promise when you're older we shall bring you on our trips so that you, c you might experience the larger world for yourself. Be good for grandmother. Study hard and we shall see you in a month. Love, Dad. Hey, these boxes remind you of anything? Every place we ever lived. Exactly. <sighs> I remember Dad was always like, why bother unpacking? We're just gonna move again in a month. Yep. Always the asshole. Hey, Sam. Call me crazy, but this looks like a Ming Dynasty vase. Nathan, who in their right mind would have a Ming Dynasty vase just sitting around like that? Yeah, it's probably a knockoff of some kind. Yeah, of course it is, right? Right. <laughs> Budge! Here, let's do it together. You ready? Push! 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 <laughs> It's some sort of sarcophagus. Yeah. Look around. This whole place is filled with sarcophaguses. Or sarcophagi. Hmm. Sam. This is real. What is this place? Well, let's go find out. <laughs> This one's Roman. Third, maybe fourth century. Hmm. And you recognize that one? Uh, I, I've seen something like it before. Reclining figures. It's Etruscan. Ah, uh, that's right. Yeah, husband and wife. Buried together. It's kind of dark. And like in an awesome sort of way. <laughs> yeah. This place is like a damn museum. <laughs> Think they've got a dinosaur wing? Wouldn't surprise me. Hey, 
Hey, do me a favor. When I die, bury me in one of these. Sure. Can I mummify you and put your organs in a jar, too? On second thought, maybe not. Here's another one. <sighs> nope. I do believe this is an ancient Mesopotamian washer-dryer combo. <laughs> ah, I was the funny one. Always was. Hey, Nathan, check me out. Now, who am I? Huh? Dr. Livingston, come on! <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Man, what I wouldn't give to get an invite like this. Probably flip all those to see if there's anything on the back, but so where are we going? Huh? Well, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you pick? Anywhere? Anywhere. Okay, well. Go. India. Yeah, we'll visit the Taj Mahal. Round and round she goes. Soviet Union. Let's go to Moscow. Yeah, it might be a tad difficult to get in. I always wanted to see the Red Square, though. Let's try again. England. Sure would be cool to see Windsor Castle. Right, Sam? Hey, hey, don't look at me. It's not my fault you weren't born yet. It's not like I remember much of it anyways. And it wasn't that cool. Uh-huh. Okay. One last spin. Brazil. Hey, now you're talking. All kinds of undiscovered places in the rainforest. And all kinds of undiscovered tribes with poison darts. Yeah, that too. I just read this one. Oh, yeah? Is it any good? It's kind of incredible. It's about the first Western woman to visit Lhasa. I'll get there myself one day. Hey, check it out. Hot in there. What if I can leave it on? <laughs> Fertility totems. Hey, aren't you a little young to be looking at that stuff? Aren't you a little old to be making that joke? Wow, this table is as big as the ones in the orphanage dining hall. I bet the food here was better. <laughs> Wouldn't take much. Damn, they must have thrown some great parties in here. Judging by the artifacts, they certainly had enough money for it. Yeah, looks like it's been a long time since the last one, though. It's 9 o'clock on Tuesday morning here, which means it 
afternoon in Arabia. I hope you are finding the heat bearable. The Queen of Sheba at least had an entourage accompanying her and her treasure on her journey to Solomon. Uh, thanks to my foolish behavior, you are re retracing that journey alone. We always agreed that we should strive to live a life of our own choosing, uh, free of regret and missed opportunities at at the airport, my thoughts were not of the present, but of the future. I simply have a hard time uh, reconciling the whirlwind life we live around the world versus the one we live at home. No matter how intense our disagreement, I should not have cast doubt on your commitment, commitment to our family. I deserved your admonishment, and I understand why you left without me. In the spirit of Solomon, we must find a way to seek compromise. Until then, I wish you the very best of luck. Edmund and I shall be eagerly awaiting your return. Love, Ken. Compromise is indeed important. I thought I saw a shiny thing when I walked into this room, but I don't know where it is now. It was just from his light or something. Hey, check out this crazy demon helmet. Is that a Viking helmet? Come on. You know Viking helmets don't have horns? It's Persian. Oh. My bad. Can you imagine being the one to actually uncover these things? <laughs> Must be something, right? of Arabia. Always wanted to see that flick. Never got around to it, though. Man, look at this place. Jousting armor. It looks French. Maybe don't go waving your flashlight around the windows too much. Probably a good idea. A dragon gong. Huh. Looks like it's from Southeast Asia. Nice. Going it alone. So much to look, look at, at these compass, sundial. Just imagine being lost at sea, and those instruments are the only things standing between death and salvation. Yeah, it's crazy. I happened across the latest issue of Adventure Life and was both surprised and delighted to see you grace its cover once again. I'm pleased to see you looking so happy, still doing what you enjoy. In spite of our separate lives, your accomplishments still bring me no small amount of pride. Attached is a photo from Edmund's graduation, top of his class. I guess we did something right. Though he would kill me if he knew I told you, I want you to know that Edmund was devastated when you chose to journey to India without him this past summer. He has grown into a capable and self-assured young man. His flashes of insight remind me of you particularly the look that crosses his face just before the eureka moment. Uh, what's more, he loves and admires you more than I can express. I've had my share of struggles over the years, and I've never asked you for anything. I'm now asking you to take Edmund on your next journey. I know it'll be a challenge, and you might not move at the pace you're used to, but I promise you this, you'll find a joy that the likes of uh, which no one else can provide. I look forward to hearing about your next big find. Keep making all, all of us proud with warm regards, Ken. Let's 
so was that that was the guy that wrote the first letter about the about the armor hey they've got your favorite book here really which one a general history of the robberies and murders of the most notorious pirates yeah, more like a generally made-up history. Even the author's name is a fake. Fake or not, this looks like a first edition. Are you serious? Man, this place, man. Wow. Want to take it with you? <laughs> nah. It'll just disintegrate in my backpack. Sounds fantastic. Did the Mayans leave anything behind for you? Look forward to hearing more in person upon my return. There was a Earnhardt. about everything in the world but nothing from mom it's a big house don't give up yet samurai eh? you recognize the crest uh hollyhock leaves our um let's see don't tell me don't tell me uh tokugawa clan yeah right you are Good old Togugawa clan. I know nothing about them. Okay. I don't think mom's journals are anywhere in here. Let's, uh, let's check upstairs. Is that a letter? What's left of it? Someone wanted to buy their stuff. Guess they said no. Not like they needed the money. I wouldn't want to part with the stuff either. This belongs in a museum, basically. Stuff might be in one of these rooms. We gotta find another way in. into the room below it not us you what i can't fit in there can you handle it you kidding me can i handle it all right let's see what you got then Check this out. <laughs> Are you 
ready. Oh, oops. It's a Polaroid. Yeah, let me see. I think it still works. Come here. A smile, all right? Don't lose it. Old Polaroids. Gotta hit with that air, get that good color in there. Looks like the way here. All right. Okay. I'm in. Can you get the door open? Uh, hold on. Jeez. It's like a hospital in here. It's locked from this side, too. And look around. Is there a key nearby? <sighs> Coding. Lots of painkillers. I was hoping I wouldn't have to write this letter. I was hoping our last conversation made my intentions clear. I was hoping that ignoring your repeated attempts to contact me would eventually send the right message. Discovering you sent my daughter a check. Wait, discovering you sent my daughter a check in the mail means the message was too subtle for someone like you. I don't need your money. And more to the point, I don't want your money. I can take care of my family just fine without your help. It's insulting to both of our intelligences to pr pretend that your hollow gesture would somehow rekindle our relationship. Uh, what little was left of our bonds died the moment you couldn't bother to show up for Dad's funeral. Right up to the moment he drew his last breath, he still loved you. I don't. I pray you find peace with whatever it is you've been seeking your entire life, but do not contact me or my family again, Edmund. Well, that's sad. Mm. 
So? Anything? <sighs> Didn't see any journals. All right, well, we still got the other locked door, so come on. Remember at the beginning of the game in the normal life chapter, uh, we were looking at something in, in the attic and he didn't look at all of it, which I'm guessing is the thing we're looking for now. Wow. <laughs> Sam. Well, you got something? This is it. <laughs> Which is a paradise? First edition of a general history of the pirates from a collector along with a stack of 18th century documents. Among them I found a very intriguing uh, letter from one Joseph Burns who not only admits to being a crewman of Henry Avery's ship but possibly hints at Avery's vast treasure. What else could which is of paradise refer to? If he sent this letter from prison he clearly didn't have the treasure with him. So where is it? Need to uh, trace it back to the source. Henry Avery's attack on the Gunsway. Picture ca caption. Joseph Burns. Less known sighting. What are these markings? for that. What is he holding? Hey, hey, you keep your gun on me. Give me my journal. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. I'm sorry, Nathan. So what now? Now, we wait uh, for the police. Yeah, you don't want to have to deal with that headache. Stop. I mean, the hassle of ruining two kids' lives, that's... Kind of... I really don't want to shoot you. Come on, lady, it was no harm, no foul, all right? We all must face the consequences for our actions. Hm. And at least let him go. I brought him down here so he could see our mom's stuff. That's it, he had nothing to do with this. What? I'm telling you that this is all on me. No. Your mother's stuff. Yeah, that, that journal. It was our mom's. You're Cassandra Morgan's boys. Uh. <gasps> hi? My God. <coughs> 
could have shot you. Yeah, you still might, so, uh, do you mind? You knew her mom? She worked for me. As I'm sure you've noticed, I'm a collector of sorts. <laughs> That's sort of an understatement. So, mom was like your translator? Your mother was the most brilliant historian I have ever met. We could have accomplished so much together. But then her illness... And... I'm sorry. No, it's all right. Happened a long time ago. Of all her discoveries, this would have been her crowning achievement. Sic Parvis Magna. Greatness from small beginnings. Sir Francis Drake's motto. Yeah, Latin and historical figures. <laughs> Those were our dinner conversations. We were uh, a weird family. Did she ever tell you her theories regarding Sir Francis Drake and his heirs? Uh, Sir Francis Drake didn't have any heirs. Yeah. That's what history tells us. But your mother and I believed otherwise. Learning that old pirate secrets is just one more adventure I have to let go. I guess there's a lot I have to let go. <laughs> Forgive me. Ramblings of an old woman. Here. It is as much yours as it is mine. Who knows? Perhaps one day you'll be able to finish what she started. Uh, yeah, so, uh, we're off the hook, right? I'll handle the police. You found your way in. I trust you can see yourself out, hmm? Yeah. Uh, Here. <sighs> Thank you. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> ah, come on, Nathan. Let's go. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, holy shit. Hey. 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 Sam? Sam? Oh, come Khalid. You all right? Wait, we have to do something. Yeah, we need to get the hell out of here. We can't just leave her here. There's nothing we can do for her, all right? We have to run. If the cops find us here, then this... Ma'am? Nathan! We gotta go. Right now.
front gate looks clear. Front gate. Don't think so. Got it. Let's be careful. Yeah. Okay. Ain't they? All right. Crap. You there? Don't move. Run for it. This way. We can lose them. I'd say we're clear, but we catch our breath for a second. Some night, huh? Some night. That old lady. Hey. Hey, you listen to me. That wasn't our fault back there. I mean, that lady, she, she was, um, sick. I mean, it's okay to feel bad, but there was nothing we could do about it. So what are we gonna do now? I can't go back to the orphanage. You can't go back to your job. Then we don't. Sure. No, I'm serious. We get as far away from this place as we possibly can. Yeah? And how long till the cops find us? Well, I think they'll be looking for Nathan and Samuel Morgan. Yeah, that's us. What if it wasn't? Nathan, back at that mansion, you knew just as much about that stuff as that poor old lady. Here. I always felt that we were destined for something great. But until tonight... I didn't know what that meant. But this... Mom's unfinished work. This is our chance to restart our lives. With brand new identities. What are you talking about? Well, I know some guys. Pretty good at forging papers, too. Now, as for our new name... Mom believed that Sir Francis Drake had heirs. Who's to say he didn't? You're serious, aren't you? Nathan, we were meant for this. And I promise, you and me together, we're gonna go far. So what do you say? Nathan Drake? Everything changed after that. You know, we became explorers, adventurers, mostly thieves. Ow. Okay, just hold still. You know, for a while it felt like you know, if we weren't taking turns going to jail, it was because we were in jail together. And you know, after I lost him, I, or after I thought I lost him, 
He didn't want to bring him back up again. Something like that. Well, that's it. Now you know everything. With you, I doubt that that's everything. But... It's a lot. I'd love to know what you're thinking. I'm thinking that you're lucky that I found you when I did. Yeah. I'm glad you didn't lose a limb or anything. <coughs> it would have been a royal pain getting you out of here. How did you uh, find me anyway? Oh, you know, easy. Just follow the sound of gunfire. <laughs> no, I mean, how did you get here? Oh, of course. <laughs> Come in, Sully. Hey, darling. How's he doing? Oh, you know, he's banged up, but he's alive, par for the course. Now we just need to rescue the other Drake. What do you mean? I'll let Nate tell you. Hey, pal. Glad you could join us. I wouldn't miss it. So what happened to Sam? Rafe's got him. Uh, yeah, they're headed to the northern side of the island. See if you can find a place to set down over there. Once we get Sam, we're gonna need to get out of here pretty quick. Copy that. Hey, hey, what about the treasure? Forget it. We don't need it. But Alcazar... No, there is no Alcazar. It's all bullshit. Wait, you mean... the dip, the... The escape? Yeah, Sam made it all up. What an asshole, right? Look, I'll fill you in on everything when I see you, okay? Yeah, I can't wait. Look, you two be safe down there. You know us. JJ. Thanks. Sure? No, I mean... Thanks for saving me. Again. I almost didn't this time. Right. Come on. I got us a ride. <laughs>